Welcome, your war chief is back with another epic video. Hi, my name's PBG, but you lovely people are more than welcome to call me Beebs. Tanking is hard, okay? It is. And I think it's Blizzard's fault. I know those are some very loaded words, and in this video, we are going to discuss them. Before getting into that, though, if you like Warcraft, you like lore, you like just nerdy stuff in general, you're home. Hit that subscribe button, because listen, we tend to do nerdy here pretty well. All right, let's dive into tanking, what makes it so difficult, and what we can do to fix it right now. Now, I need you guys to think of the player experience without external help. I know that sounds contradicting, I'm on YouTube, but think of what a player would go through without YouTube videos, class guides, learning from the game directly. Let's start from scratch. How does the player learn to play? Previously, you chose a race, you started in that starting zone, you quested until about level 15, did some dungeons, some battlegrounds. Today, you're given a great little starting area that's up to level 10 questing and then you're brought into a final three-person dungeon which is pretty neat and then what next well you're thrown into questing starting with the most recent expansion which is battle for azeroth in this situation i know oh i know and i mean of course you've still got the options to queue for dungeons battlegrounds you can quest whatever fits your fancy so there's lots of choice out there as you play the game you will learn some things i mean you don't get a choice. It's gonna happen. But the experience isn't the same across all roles. Let's break it down. DPS. Whether you're questing, battlegrounds, dungeons, you hurt the baddies. Complicated, right? Queue up, you hurt more baddies. You go into battlegrounds. What do you do? If it's red, it's dead. For the you'll get faster things will start coming down you'll get used to a rotation you'll read some spells you'll also start noticing you'll also start noticing the amount of times you die go down maybe you avoid certain classes in battlegrounds it's very much you try you learn you improve healing's not far from that but there's a little more to it as you're leveling, you realize real quickly you don't have the pew pew to kill stuff real quick. And you're gonna have to drop a heal on yourself ever so often. In dungeons, you learn really quickly that your role is to keep them alive. So you're throwing heals at other people. Eventually you get better at throwing those heals. You, get, you start understanding what gets you in trouble. What is too much? And your success rate is based on, well, did you die? But it does get better over time, and it is best taught in Dungeons and Battlegrounds. But you still get that basis through questing as well. Tanking. Oh boy. Questing teaches you to kill things. Okay, I can do that. Battlegrounds teach you to kill things and try not to die. Okay, and then there's Dungeons. You need to learn where you're going, what's the best route to take, what bosses do what, how to control the baddies, real quick, how to take the baddies back from the overzealous mage. Listen, I've been that mage. I'm sorry. I have a new understanding and love for you tanks. I'm sorry. I am trying to be a better mage. But the teaching process to new players is just not the same. It's night and day to the leveling process. And we could argue that yes, you do more dungeons, you'll get better at it, but the idea still comes back to you need to start looking at more resources quickly to be able to improve or you're going to get kicked out of most of your dungeons. A bad DPS sticks around. A bad healer, you just pull a little less. Bad tank. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Now, there's always been a bit of a complaint to the learning curve that when it goes from dungeons to raids, because holy shit, that's the equivalent of being thrown into the deep end. 
but tanks. No, it is like being thrown in the deep end with cement sneakers. You are not just healing. You are not just doing the pew pew. No, you now have to know what main tank and off tank is, how to taunt off each other, understand stacks of debuff, stacking, positioning of bosses. New tanks are not prepared for this. And here, it's so very quickly and easily that you're going to need resources outside of the game. The journal is limited. Have you read it? And let's be real, in my opinion, you shouldn't have to go outside of the game to learn the basics. LFR to me is basics. You should be able to do that. Now, I'm not telling you you should be eased into the mythics and mythic plus. You should not be eased into higher difficulty level rates. And no, you should not be eased into pushing rank in PvP. That's stuff you should learn and you should earn. But when you have to start looking outwards for the basics, that's the problem. So one of the first things that I would love to see as an implemented change is a large overhaul to scenarios. I think this is the perfect opportunity, especially with more players playing the newer expansions with the scenarios, to teach people how to play the game. Why can't we have roles? And I mean, you'd also get the nice climax of a story. I said climax. But think about it. You would start the scenario with a role selection. The NPC with you would either tank, heal, or DPS, depending on what you need. And that's how the scenario would play out. So if you're a tank, we'll say Jaina Proudmoore is in a scenario with you, she would tell you, Oh, this enemy's got me. Please taunt. As a teaching mechanism. If, you, if uh, Jaina Proudmoore was dying, you're the healer. Your job is to heal while she does all the damage. Or the very opposite. Somebody's tanking for you and you're just pew, 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 pew. And learning not to stand and stuff because that shit's important too. So yes, this gives you a small chance to test your skill. And I mean, the word test here is very relative to each player, but you see where I'm going. It doesn't have to be difficult. It's just important to teach people to do it. Will you be raiding mythics with this? N no, no you won't. But will you actually have a clue when you queue up for a dungeon? Yeah, that's the point. Now, again, I mentioned there is a gap between dungeons and raiding. Again, LFR to me should be that gap, but it's not. I'm not sure how we can bridge that gap yet. I like the idea of scenarios, but it really doesn't help here. Another silly idea I had to try to help this was for Blizzard to have a YouTube channel with videos of basic roles. I don't know. I'm just throwing something out here. I don't quite have the solution for this one, but I am aware that it is an issue and we got to start looking at ways to try to fix it. Deep down, we just need to do a better job of teaching people to play the game in the game. Especially for the roles, and especially for tanks. We do have some things, but I mean, there is much more that we can do to bridge that gap. And listen, this video is not about my tanking skill, because we all know I tank at tanking. Get it? I'm pretty bad, but that's okay. I'm learning. Regardless, I wish there was more info available. What about you though? Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up. If you didn't, well, cool. Let me know. I'm a big girl. I can handle it. Bonus points if you tell me why you didn't like it. Feedback is the best way to improve. And if you like Warcraft, lore, deep dives, nerdy stuff, or me, I don't know hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, ring that bell. That way you'll get notifications for all my upcoming videos. But all right, everyone. Well, have a legendary day. Thanks again for stopping by. And I can't wait to see you guys again on the next one. Bye. Listen, I am well aware, well aware that my tanking ability is beyond Blizzard's help. I'm okay with this.